Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a watermark pattern that you can use to place on images and uh, any kind of graphics or anything else that you happen to do up inside Photoshop. Uh, as we all probably know, if you're watching this video, you already know how to create a watermark where it's one single item instead of a pattern item. Okay, uh, those are really great, but sometimes you just want to cover the entire image, and this is the fun, easy, uh, great way of doing that. It doesn't take any time at all to do it once you. Uh, watch the video and you try it out a couple of times yourself you'll see exactly how fast this is now before I begin I would like to say that we do recommend going ahead and creating a black and white version while you're creating them at, at one step and uh, that way later on the in the future if you need uh, like say a black one instead of a white one you already have it created in case you forget how to do it okay the other thing you can do you can even use a full color uh, text or a full color logo uh, the only problem is is that might not always show up the greatest or be able to be used the greatest on certain images or even graphics so that's why we always so, uh, tell you to go ahead with just pure black or pure white as far as logos go you can use full color of course on your websites and other things like that uh, but as far as watermarks go uh, have it created also in all black and also in all white okay so to go ahead and get started I'm gonna go up here to hit file go to new you can name the same thing you want and then for the width and the height uh, select it something bigger than what you want it to be uh, and that will I'll show you the process which is really quick and easy on taking away everything extra that you don't need okay so from after you do the width and the height you go over here and make sure this is selected to pixels it could be selected to something else come down here and select uh, background content and make sure it's selected to transparent then you're going to hit OK and then as you see it, it'll it's going to be bigger of course like I just mentioned than what you're going to need but I will show you how to get rid of all this extra space the next thing you're going to do is come down here to text you're going to go over here and choose what font you want for this demonstration I'm using Arial rounded MT bold and then you want to choose a text font size that's not too small nor too big so I'm using a 50 point I'm going to come down here to the canvas and I'm going to click on it then you just type in whatever you want you can also use symbols too if you want like put it like a copyright uh, symbol in there or even a register trademark symbol you could do that as well once I have the text typed out I'm gonna hit the checkbox and then I'm gonna hit over here where it's called the move tool but it looks like a arrow with a plus sign and then I could just move this anywhere I want okay once that's done I come over here to uh, my apologies before I go up here to image what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform the text you can do this one of two ways you can either hit control T and you will see the outline around the text and then a little tiny box and you can move it you know however you which way you want to okay once you're done you can hit the checkbox or you can cancel it or however you know you wish to do it I'm gonna cancel it so it goes back to what I had it I'm gonna hit control T again now if you are satisfied with this hit the check mark okay the other way to do this is go to edit go down to free transform now once you have the free transform whichever way you want to do it come above it and you'll see what looks like a two arrows bending um, you know downward you know going from a straight line and bending downward once you see that left click on the mouse button and move it any way you want to as you can see here okay what like I said what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it as a diagonal slope I'm going to hit enter or you can hit the tap mark box. Then to get rid of the extra space, I'm going to go to image, trim. I do transparent pixels I'm based on and then I'll leave all these four boxes checked. Hit OK. And it get rid of, gets rid of everything I don't need. Okay. You don't have to worry about this space here and this space here because I mentioned previously it's transparent so it's not going to show anything at all. Go up here to edit. Come down here to define pattern and name this anything you like. now you're pretty much done okay and actually not pretty much but you are done now to put this on an image simply go to file open choose an image you want okay now let's say this is an image you're creating how are you going to apply the watermark pattern is very simple and easy to do come down here click on a uh, new layer now the layer is popped up come up here to edit come down to fill make sure this is selected to pattern custom pattern select the pattern you just created if you 
if you've tried uh, this a couple different times and you have all these other patterns up here to do you can right click on them and hit delete pattern or delete it so I'm gonna click on the pattern that I'm gonna use I'm gonna click OK now as you can see my name is all over it now you're like sitting there scratching your head like oh, wait a minute what did I do wrong you know I followed him exactly and I have the watermark pattern on the image which is great, but I can see more of it than I can see the uh, the you know the picture now. Don't worry about it. Okay, simple process on how to fix that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to opacity. You're gonna drag this down to something that you like. Okay. Let's say I'm just gonna put it at 50% just for a second. Okay. Okay, 51%. Okay. Now as you can see, it did fade a little bit, but not by a lot. What you can do is you can come down even more than that. Okay? Now I've faded it even a lot more. Now let's say that's good for you and you want to leave it alone. Go ahead and go to File and Save As and save it in whatever uh, format you want to. Now if you need it even lighter than that and blend it in more than that, go over here to Normal. Come up here to Overlay. And as you can see, it blended into the picture even more. I could still see my name. I could still see the watermark. But now I, I, the picture itself is standing out a lot more than my watermark was. Okay? So what you're going to do at this point is uh, before you go any further, uh, just go over here to right-click and hit Convert to Smart Object. Okay? Uh, I'm not can't remember if I mentioned this previously in the video, but that sh uh, that option right there, convert a smart object, should be available to you in all previous versions of Photoshop except for Photoshop 7.0, which I know my wife uses and stuff. Um, I'm not sure why it's not available in there. I guess it just they never got around to doing something like that. I'm not sure about previous versions because the only versions I've ever used have been Photoshop 7.0 and Photoshop CC. Okay, but everything else I just showed you can be used. I'm pretty sure in everything, especially in Photoshop 7.0, you know, just so you know, okay? Now, as you can see, this was a black text. Very simple and easy to do. Now, I'll show you a quick process so you can just see how it looks to do a white, uh, a white one. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to get rid of, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to switch this color out to white. I'm going to hit OK. Oops, let me bring that back over here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use my text tool again. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go up here to the color palette icon. And I'm going to choose white. I'm going to hit the, um, the question mark box. Or not the question mark box. I'm sorry, the check the check box. And as you can see, it's the same exact text, but now it's all white. I'm gonna come up here to edit. I'm gonna come up here to define pattern. George White watermark pattern. Again, you can name this whatever you want. Okay. Then I'll come back over here to the image. And as I say, instead of creating Instead of going through the process to get to this point right here, all you got to do is come back uh, to this or after you save it as one color, uh, just simply use a text tool and highlight this again and choose whatever color up in here or over in, in this uh, color little triangle box right here, or not triangle box, the little square box here, and choose whatever color you want. So once you got the color again, you go over here to edit, you go to the, um, the define pattern, you name it. Okay, now once you've named it, you go over here to the image, you create a new layer again, you're going to go up here to edit, go to fill, this time you're going to choose a custom pattern for the white one, you're going to hit OK. Now as you can see, it's white all over the image. Same exact process, right click, convert to smart object. Basically what smart object does, in case you're not aware, is if I... After I have done this, if I you know, go to do anything at all more to the watermark once it's created, it won't distort it. It won't distort the professional looking text part of it. Uh, unless I do that myself, uh, it'll keep everything looking just the way it is. Okay. So once I have the, once I've converted to a smart object and I have the layer selected, I come over here to gain to opacity. I bring it down and as you can see the white text is just pretty much, you know, fading away. 
and if you need it even more than that you come up over to normal and then hit overlay and then it sinks it more into the image okay now as you can see this looks a little bit better than the white version or the black version I mean, I mean okay now just so you can get a good example of both I'm gonna go here I'm, I'm sorry I gotta uh, click on the checkbox I'm gonna go over here to file open I'm gonna open the same image again okay never mind the the image is already opened okay so give me one second I'm just going to name this thing something different okay bring Photoshop back up file open okay now here's the same exact one this time I'm going to do fill I'm going to choose the black one oh my apologies let me delete that create new layer edit fill pattern and then I can move this down hit on overlay now as you can see this is the black text and here's the white text and as you can see what I was meaning before about the difference okay the the opacity levels and everything else you can change it to you know pretty much whatever you want to okay and then that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in a comment, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thanks, and have a great day.